All right, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Golf Coast CW, Comic Star fans? How are y'all doing tonight? This is uh, TK from Comic Star. Hope you all have a great you know, Friday night, TGIF. And uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of crazy stuff happening uh, this week. You know, you probably noticed we haven't had uh, our videos come out as much. It's past, uh, you know, this is last Friday throughout. Till today, so yeah, we had some crazy stuff happen this week, and we're gonna have a great weekend. Uh, we're actually uh, teaming up, hanging out to Biloxi tomorrow night for uh, getting some footage done for Comic Side of the Movie, which is pretty epic, it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, is uh, yeah, making a movie and doing all the celebrity interviews and getting everything arranged, especially in a pandemic is, uh, or a crisis, it's crazy, but, uh, no, so, uh, this week we, uh, got to, uh, find out some great stuff. First off, I have been mentioning this for, like, the past two weeks, if not more, but Super Pan, you know, the Super Fans, uh, panel, that's happening for Pentacom, we're gonna be out there doing all the great celebrity interviews, and, um, yeah, also later this year, like I said, we're going to be at the Smoky Mountain Fan Fest for their year two. We were out there for year one, and it was great. We're going to be back out there. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of the filming done for uh, comics. Sorry, the movie done this week. I actually got that, and I kind of want to make a uh, behind-the-scenes after the movie comes out. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of uh, do a release of behind the scenes because I pretty much got, you know, not hit but punted by a car for uh, making this movie this weekend. But uh, or I guess at the last weekend, but it's still <laughs> yeah. So a lot of crazy stuff on. We're gonna be out in Biloxi tomorrow night. You know, uh, not doing celebrity interviews, we're just hanging out with friends, we're going to do some footage for Comic Side of the Movie, and uh, it's going to be a blast of a weekend just to uh, get away, not try to do too much gambling, but, uh, you know, because the movie industry, you only gamble with your life, right? Last action hero! If any of y'all get that, uh, that comment, you're awesome. But, uh, no, so, uh, we're going to get some filming, some more filming for Comic Star done, you know, the movie. This weekend, uh, be partying out in Biloxi, uh, hopefully by tomorrow night. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff that happened. TV and movie-wise, I mean, it's kind of a blur since coronavirus. I mean, it's the, not even pimp, the, the crisis. But, uh, yeah, so we got to watch, and uh, spoilers if you have not watched this yet, uh, for Falcon and the, you know, the Winter Soldier. Great show, great ending. I love how Disney Plus is doing these... Uh, Concepts, you know, because of the uh, crisis and everything, uh, of making uh, movies and shows. Because you get, a you know, a couple more hours out of everything else versus if it was a straight movie. But, uh, I mean, one of the was awesome, obviously. But, no, we got to see today the, you know, the pretty much the end game of, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where they ended it on Cap, you know, Captain America, or New Captain America, the Winter Soldier, but, uh, this badass show, if y'all have not checked it out yet, uh, spoilers, you should just hop off here right now if y'all have not watched it yet, but, uh, that was a great ending to a show, I mean, WandaVision had a great ending. 
Falcon and the Winter Soldier had an epic ending. Like, the new Captain America. That's badass, man. So that's all I'm saying on spoilers, you know. If you haven't watched it yet. But, uh, oh my god. The end of the Flag Smashers, man. The, uh, the other Captain America slash not Captain America becoming U.S. agent. So epic. So amazing. And, I mean, just not that. That was not the end of the, uh, I mean, that was the end of the show for that. And they announced, you know, Phase 4. Entering into almost Phase 5. Yes. They pretty much announced, hey, that's not the end of the story for that. For Marvel fans, you know, for every fans of Marvel. Boom. We got Loki coming up, so. A lot of crazy stuff. On the Marvel side, but uh, no, on everything else on, uh, you know, the Marvel stuff to, uh, I don't know, I didn't talk about Pentacon, but uh, a lot of other crazy stuff on, uh, hell, uh, we talked, we got to watch the, uh, not talk to, we got to watch the uh, new Mortal Kombat movie, and uh, as well, that was uh, some amazing stuff, came out today, yeah, it, you had the uh, Falcon Winter Soldier finale ending series. It was going to lead up to other movies, can I say? But you also had Mortal Kombat. Oh my God. Like, and don't get me wrong. Like, hey, if y'all younger viewers are watching this, yeah, I'm kind of judging y'all on this shit because uh, Mortal Kombat came out today. And it's, uh, I can't even say remake or reboot. It was its own thing, basing off of video games and everything else. But, uh, great movie, great CGI. And, uh, uh two thirds of the movie, I was almost pissed off. I was like, oh shit. These people don't know what they're talking about. Then by the time they end the movie, you're like, all right, setting up a dialogue to where it's going to be a two-movie process. So, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a good movie. Uh, I mean, for all Mortal Kombat fans on, from any Mortal Kombat video games, I mean, come on. The 1995 movie and 1997 were based off the video games. So... I almost expect some Mortal Kombat shoutouts from the background, but uh, I'm probably too lazy to have that happen. But uh, no, it was, it was some great stuff uh, this week, or at least like the Mortal Kombat movie it was pretty good. I mean, uh, I was really impressed. They had the uh, actor who played Guardian on Supergirl. Yeah, Jim, the dude who played Jimmy Olsen was Jax. And did a fucking badass uh, performance. I can't wait to see this movie uh, for this part two come out. Because, I mean, that's pretty much what they did. They set up uh, the storyline, which is my only thing with the Mortal Kombat. I didn't like They were like, all right, we're going to make this a two-part movie. I'm like... Fuck, man, you can't do that. You know, you get away with that in the 90s. See if uh, fans bitch about it today, but... Great movie, and you know what? I mean, come on. Mortal Kombat release today. You got Supergirl, you know, main stars like Guardian. You got, oh my god, every great star that you could think of throughout the multiverse on Asian actors who were... I mean, the guy played Hans. The guy played... Sub-Zero. I, I did not even know to go through the list. But this was a badass movie. I hope it gets a sequel, because... 
it's going to be a bomb if it doesn't get a sequel, you know, a sequel, because this is a two-part movie. It should have been a four-hour-long movie. That way, and spoilers, but, you know, that way the movie is like, all right, badass movie. Be a lot more badass if it was full throttle to the thing, you know, the uh, full story, but they went through half the story, so. It's going to be some cool epic stuff that we're going to be looking for for sequels in the future. And uh, yeah, we'll show up about Mortal Kombat. You know, Marvel and comic side of the movie, but uh, speaking of, so a lot of cool stuff that's been happening this year and everybody, I hope they're staying safe, no virus and all that, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but uh, that was some cool stuff happening that's uh, going to be at Pentacon. We're going to be uh, finishing up the filming for a comic side of the movie, and it's going to be pretty great. A couple of, you know, comic cons and episodes out the that we Comic cons and episodes and all that shit. We try to keep that shit separated because pretty much these episodes are making y'all want to be a. Uh, at the next Comic Con or anything like that, pretty much just like get everybody by their their sci-fi fix. But uh, no, there's I hope to see a lot of our fan base and a lot of Prince Con's fan base, it's just fans of Comic Cons, show up at Prince Con. The Golf Coast CW is gonna be out there. The super fans from the Golf Coast, you know, Coast CW, we're gonna be out there. And, Comics are we're going to be doing celebrity interviews. It's going to be great, fun events throughout the whole weekend. But I'm going to get, let y'all get back to y'all's you know, Friday night because I got to get back to my own weekend. Where apparently we're going to be doing a Vegas shooting. Or not a Vegas shooting. A Vegas uh, video is what I mean. Uh, of like hotels and Comic Con and Casino Weekends, even though we're going to be in Biloxi, so pretty much the rest of my weekend is doing filming. Y'all have a great night. Can't wait to see all y'all at Pensacon. TK from Comic Sire. Like and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Y'all already know that, but my thing is can't wait to hang out with the fans. Do, of course, you know, our job, celebrity interviews and all that, but, uh, yeah, part with the celebrities, the fans, and y'all have a great, you know, Friday night. Comic Sire, we will see you in the multiverse. Is the button working? Hey, is the button working? Oh, shit, it's working. Oh, crap. How do I turn the button off?